The recordings currently are coming from the Zoom uh, H2 Essential. A uh, handy little recorder, an upgrade from the H2 uh, previous version. And uh, this recorder is now currently recorded from the rear as indicated uh, by the signage. And we're using the mono mode, so this is the mono recording. And this recorder is being used in an unsterilized environment, which means that it's an environment like uh, a normal individual would use. There is no sound treatment taking place. So this is like in a house or in your studio that you may have without a treated wall, treated uh, room. So it's just a general environment i'll try to give you a comparison with running this same recording session through my zoom h3 and uh, my uh, se electronic x1a all right so we're going to do a little comparison to see what is happening i i cannot tell you what the sound quality is like at this time for this recorder because we are listening to, we're going to be listening to it together all right so let me put it down on the station and have it so that we can experience what is happening the menus function to a degree uh, but when it is in recorded and then we can continue our recording we can pause recording and we can also start uh, the recording as we did so when it is in red that is where the recording is currently taking place and when it is paused or in white that is where the recording would come to its pause but the, the sound is still being transmitted. And if you want, we can also stop the recording. So in order to change the mode, you have to act. So in order to change the mode, you have to actually stop recording and then decide that you want to do front and uh, rear. And then you decide if you want to, to be mono 90 degrees or 120 degrees so let us go with the mono and we'll work our way back to the 120 degree so this is in the mono mode and this is just standard recording and when we have the mono turned on and front and back we have uh, two sections where recording is now taking place. So the rear is the front section here, which is counterintuitive as we said, because this capsule here is the rear capsule as indicated by the rear indicator. And the front is the back capsule, this section as indicated by the back indicator all right and uh, this is what the audio sounds like so while we're going through that let us look at some of the specs it indicated that this uh, is a mid-range uh, mic and it has mid-side stereo pickup so we have the mid-side stereo pickup that can take place and i think that this mid-side is ingenious it has pickup pattern selection from 120, 90, and mono. It has a 32-bit float rate, requiring no gain or adjustment. So all you do is plug and play, and that is true. It has a 3.5-millimeter uh, mini inline. That's the outline. So this is the mini inline, and it has a 3.5-mini uh, stereo mic line. Uh, headphone output plus it has a built-in mic inside of it and it has a built-in mixer so if you click on the mixer you can see what is taking place on your screen so that there is a, a, quick, a pretty neat trick that this device has it has color which we are not too uh, 
excited about because it's just black, white, red, which is basically uh, okay, all right? But the good thing is, is that if you desire filters, it has low cut filters, so you can use those as you so desire. And it has a markers as we indicated, and it has the delete button. It has a section for the USB uh, remote control section or the BTA one Bluetooth connection if you want to connect it to your app. A uh, challenge that we had was with the uh, micro SD card. We had the micro SD cards that had the required uh, indication of specification. If you, if you look at the back here, you can see them. It says uh, micro SD X C, but we tried a few of them and we realized that some of them were saying that uh, invalid card. And we just couldn't figure out what was the challenge with that. So that there is something that we need to examine further. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pause the recording and move over to the 90 degree. So now we're in the 90 degree mode and we're gonna continue our recording session. So we're in 90 degree and we're continuing our recording session. And at 90 degree, we have uh, the front, the rear, and the same indications taking place. And this is what it looks like. It's just a nice recorder to have. The weight is light. The majority of the weight that comes with this recorder is actually the, the batteries. All right, and I'm using two rechargeable batteries that I procured from eBay, all right? And these batteries, are pretty functional i've been using them in my other devices and uh, i have not yet tested to see if they can give me the, the charge that they had indicated on their website it says that uh, we should seven hours of operation with two AA batteries but with this recorder you can connect it using a usb you can connect it to a US, you can do a USB connection like so, bam, and you can connect it to uh, another battery source. So if your phone has reverse charging, you can connect it to your phone. Or if you have another USB device, you can connect it to that device as well. And what I have noted is that this device can be picked up as a external mic so if you want higher quality recording if your phone mic is not working to record your uh, audios as needed and the beautiful thing about this device is that this device uh, can also be used as an audio interface so if you have uh, a computer system that is less than ideal it doesn't have a mic input you can use this and uh, use it as a mic input and you don't have to change any settings the computer automatically picks it up once the input is selected we're going to once again pause the recording so you can have an experience of the 120 so this is us now in the 120 front and rear all right and the recording sequence is just about the same so this is what we are experiencing so you can just use my polar voice pickup and see i'm directly in front of the microphone and it's about uh, uh, uh 10 inches away from me in a horizontal direction and about uh, uh, 10 inches away in a vertical direction. All right, so because this mic is on the desk and I'm standing above the, the mic. So we're just trying to simulate a regular 
interaction with a mic because when you have a mic like this you're not going to have it directly in front of you you're going to have it in a room on a table and then you're going to have uh, your interactions taking place all right so this is what the rear and front recording sounds like at 120 degrees so now let us pause now we're at the front recording and the front recording is the back mic right here and this is giving us the front indication and we're pressing record once record has been pressed then we're going to be having uh, everything going to red all right so that there is uh, what the front uh, recording at 120 sounds like i hope that uh, this gives you an idea as to how wide the sound is uh it would have been more ideal if i had someone else or another instrument or implement so you could hear the audio for your own examination but one thing you need to note is that every time you're going to change a mode you have to turn the recorder from recording change change the mode and then continue the recording so you have to stop the recording if you want to change the mode so the only thing you have to do is just set whether you're going to be back and front recording or you're going to just be front recording or rear recording and then you're going to have to set uh, whether you want a 90 degree 120 degree and mode once that is set then all you have to do is just turn the recording put the recording on the table and then you're good to go what you're going to do after that is post-production all right so we're not into post-production so let us stop the recording put it in mono and start the recording so once we start the recording this is what it looks like with the front indicating recording once again but in all of this the most important thing is to hear what the sound is like because the sound quality is what we're here for but while this is being recorded in mono mode from the rear from the front capsule i am in the rear position so i'm opposite towards uh, the recording so i am on this side and it's recording from the back side so hopefully the reverb can be felt and can be heard as is appropriate so let us hear what is uh, is being uttered all right so let us now pause the recording once more and go into the right setting which is the rear all right and then, then we're going to hit the recording sequence so the recording sequence is the rear and it's in the mono mode And now we have that in sequence. Now you have a taste of what the recording is in an unsterilized environment. I hope that this was helpful, insightful, and you can make your decision as to if this is a suitable recorder for you. And as we indicated, we are not doing any post-production acoustic uh, equalizer, anything. We're just going to put it in the system as uh, is as it was recorded thank you very much enjoy your rest of your day and uh, let us know if you decide to select to use uh, this uh, recorder for your recordings or your live streaming the purpose that we have this recorder is for our live streaming that way we don't have to do an extensive setup. It's not as uh, uh, space intensive as our other devices. So that is why this recorder seems to be a uh, ideal fit. And as you plug it in, the computer picks it up and you can record, you disconnect it when you're done. And the audio is relatively satisfactory. Even with room noise, it picks up a few of the room noise, a background noise, yes, but it is not that overbearing. It has a little uh, uh, background noise, but that is uh, 
tolerable, all right? But if this is what you desire, you have the experience of having it in a working environment where you have lights on, you have uh, uh, outside uh, traffic flowing, you have uh, kids in your house, you have a computer on, and you have fans on, so you can have an idea as to what is happening. So thank you, and enjoy.